welcome back. I hope everybody out there is having a great day. And this video, I actually have no idea what I'm going to be doing in it. So it could be drawing or painting or making a friendship bracelet or some random thing that I just haven't come up with yet. I haven't really decided, but whatever it is, it'll be fun. At least I really hope it will be fun. Otherwise, it's going to be no fun. So whatever it is we're about to make. Let's get to it! I decided to settle on drawing, and I felt it to be very pertinent that I show you that I broke the binding of this sketchbook years ago and then never used the sketchbook since because of that, so I finally got to tape it up, and now I'm going to use it with some colored pencils. I forgot what to say there for a second. It's colored pencils. And the first thing I decided to draw was, surprise, surprise, a heart because why not I guess I really don't didn't know what I was doing this was kind of just all done at the last minute because I realized I needed to make something and procrastination was just really making me not want to do anything which is just always such a lovely feeling when you know you should do something but then you don't like basically all homework assignments ever it's great I decided I wanted like these little blue lightning like stripes through the heart so I first drew them in with pencil and then I started drawing them in with blue and I did a lighter blue on the inside and a darker blue on the outside and then just like a kind of brighter blue on the inside which you can't see at all and then I started working on the heart which I used pinks in the middle and then I immediately went over it with a red color and then just kind of kept going over it until I liked it enough to be like oh yeah yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with this. It looks good this way. Because I, I did not like those pink colors all that much, so I just kind of colored over them. And it all worked out in the end. And uh, I tried using white for a second there. I don't know why. And I just left it that way. For the second one, I decided that I just kind of wanted to have some fun with the color pencils. So I just drew a couple lines across the piece of paper and started doing what I'll call a stained glass technique. I don't really know what it is, but I just went darker on the outside and then had it like the lightest in the center. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of stained glass. I made a painting of this at one point before the channel, so you won't see me ever making that painting, but I did make a painting of it at one point and I kind of wanted to try and replicate it with colored pens, just what I do. Okay. It was yellow. easiest to do because it was the lightest color, so it kind of paper a little more so it didn't look and then I colored, and then on the edge were really annoying to the right sh The pencil kept, it was annoying, didn't, but I figured it out and kept going and just like shaded stuff. I didn't really have a plan for this. I didn't have a plan for any of these. I was kind of just winging it and whatever came to mind and this is just what happened. I will say that if I were to redo this exact thing again, I'd use brighter colors because I feel like these colors were kind of, they were nice colors, they just were duller, and I wanted more bright colors, and I just didn't end up with that. And of course, since I just drew random lines, but not completely random lines, I wanted to have six boxes, I did the rainbow, because why not just have all the colors? Yeah. And then for the final drawing, since I am on the never-ending mission of trying to figure out how to draw a nice tree. They all look nice, they just don't look like how I want them to most of the time. So I started drawing a tree and I just started out with like sketching the trunk and then just sketching a bunch of branches. It was a very rough sketch. There were just lines going everywhere and I was just not having a great time, but having a great time. And then I decided, you know, the trunk looks way too big for this. The branches are too thin for the trunk, so I went back and made the trunk smaller, and then I started going over all of it with a brown colored pencil. While I was sketching, I knew I was just going to go over it with a brown colored pencil, so I'm like, it doesn't have to look nice right now, I can just cover it all up with color later. Don't do that with your problems, though. Don't cover up your problems with color. It's really not going to help you in the long run. I should probably know since I've tried to do that multiple times. Not with color, but with just like other things. So don't cover up your problems with color. It's not helpful. 
And uh, I liked how this tree turned out, except for the part where it's like half of the tree looked like it was from a different tree, and then the other half looked like it was from the correct tree. Not perfect, it kind of like took in the shape of the page where it made it look a bit rectangular, where I usually want them to look a little bit more circular, but it turned out looking fine and I was happy with the finished product. It's not perfect, but it's mine. And those were the finished products of everything I drew. I hope you had a fun time listening to my commentary and watching me quickly draw stuff that it did not take that much time to actually draw. I hope you all have a great day.